Do you guys see the really cool kitchen island we've got over there? That is actually not just an island. It is the access to our super secret bunker that we have underneath the kitchen. The access down into the bunker is actually very easy to build and not very expensive at all. We'll show you exactly how we built it, but first we've got to make an improvement on it and then we can show you exactly how we built it. Our super secret bunker top is sagging right in the middle. I have a plan to fix it, but it's gonna take time to get the sag out. So we're gonna take the top off right now. I'll show you what we're gonna do and kind of explain the process to you. So I've marked it all where, like, where it's supposed to go when we put it back on. And we're just taking all the screws out so we can lift the top up. Let's see if we can lift it. This guy's pretty heavy. Right. Wham, bam. All right, we got it down. Let's see how big the gap is now. So you can see the the bottom side here and how we use these, I forgot what they're called now, but they're for countertops. Let's look at the gap here. Yeah, we got a big one, man. I put my fingers under there. So what we're gonna do is while we're out of town, we're just gonna put some heavy stuff on here and let it settle back down flat. And then when we get back, we'll fix it. So hopefully it can't bow again. But you're the perfect storm. There we go. Just let her rest. When we come back, fix it up. At the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. For one will scarcely die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person one would even dare to die. But God showed his love for us that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. One of those good people that perhaps somebody would be willing to die for. But I think that that would, that would definitely cheapen the sacrifice of Christ. We made it back home and we removed the weight from the top of it. Check it out. Oh, it's like flat again. Yeah. It looks like there's maybe still a little tiny bit of a bow on the end here, but We'll get it. We'll get it. We got these guys right here. We're going to start fixing them up. First, we're going to prepare the angle iron, and then we'll get to routing slots and screwing and gluing, and hopefully this thing is going to come out perfectly flat and will never sag in the middle again. We're marking all of our angle iron so that we can drill the hole for our screw to go in that's going to hold it into the countertop, and then we're going to countersink it with this bigger bit right here so that the screws will all be flush, hopefully. We'll see though, but that's plan. Having a super secret bunker with food storage and an escape hatch so that we can get away when the bad guys come is really important to our family. But you know what else is also important is having our future finances secured. And one of the ways that we can do that is actually through life insurance. In fact, Fabric by Gerber Life is the sponsor of today's video. Fabric was designed by parents for parents to help them get high quality, surprisingly affordable term life insurance policies in less than 10 minutes. You could go from start to covered in less than 10 minutes with no health exam required. 
Join thousands of families who trust Fabric to protect their families. Apply in just minutes at meetfabric.com slash offgrid. That's meetfabric.com slash offgrid. That's meet, M-E-E-T, fabric.com slash offgrid. Now, let's get back to work. Check out the fire. Oh, it's nice and warm on my back. Sorry if I'm yelling. Safety Sally's got us wearing ear protection today. We got our router here set up and we're going to route a slot in our countertop here that is as deep as this angle iron is. Just like that. Here we go. Something shines on the horizon. We're gonna have to do it in two passes because our bit, the cutting edge on it is not quite long enough. Interesting. Guess we didn't get our bit tight enough in there. Came right unscrewed. Guess we'll have to make it tighter. We got our first cut in. Now we gotta adjust the bit out a little further and we can do our second cut. Hopefully it'll hopefully it'll do it, otherwise it's gonna be lame. First step is done. We can do a little test fit to make sure that it's long enough, and it is. Now we need to wrap this part out so that our piece will fit flush in there. See if she fits. Wow, look at that, man. She's flush. Pretty cool. It worked, Charles. Looks way awesome. Yeah. Just putting in the glue here. We got it in a styrofoam cup. It takes quite a bit to fill in that to fill in that cavity where the um, angle iron goes. We'll see this. It's a little bit thicker than we put it in last time, so we'll see. We might like put too much in. We'll find out. Let's see if she spooges out anywhere. Uh, not too bad. Ooh, pretty full, but just like just right almost. We got our holes drilled for kind of the corners area-ish. I'm just coming through and cutting it with the tin snips. And then uh, Jules is going to cut it with the vibrating saw. Hopefully, we can get all of these outlets in. And then we'll be able to rock and roll, be able to like cook up here on the island and got some cool ideas for some cooking live stream videos for you guys. But we need a place to do that. We're using these special electrical boxes right here that have fancy wings on them that come out to hold them in because we're not putting the boxes up against a stud. So I'll show you how these guys go in and you can actually put them anywhere. You cut a hole and put it in there. We got all of the boxes in and it's time now to See if the power's on here, and if it is, get it turned off, which would be this one right here that has the black tape on the end. Huh, look at that safety. We thought ahead, I guess, while we were putting this in. So those are probably hot right now. The red to the white? It doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, just touch one to one. What'd you get down there? 12, 120. 120, all right, that's what it should be. All right, so we're hot. I'll go oh, ahead and trip the breaker. Can you hold on to this guy? Yeah. Go ahead and do this guy. All right, let's test it again and see if it's on that circuit. Hopefully it is. 120. 120. So it's not on that GFI. Hmm, let's check this one. Hopefully we didn't make a mistake then. Pop that one. We'll check it again. And then I forget, man, if code says that the island has to be on a GFI also. I'm hoping not. We'll see. Mm, 120. 120. I thought these were connected to something down there. Remember they that? are. I bet that it's connected to the range. I bet. Okay. We're going to go find out. I'll go turn off the range breaker really quick. Okay. And then we'll test it again. It's not connected to either of the circuits in the kitchen. So that means, what does that mean? It might be connected to the range. If it's connected to the range, that's still fixable. We could, if we need to have a GFI there, we could just put the range on a GFI. Let's see here. Bridge, it's a 20 amp breaker. Should be on this side. South kitchen, bath, microwave outside. Or, I guess another option, if it is on that circuit and it has to be on a GFI, we could put a GFI breaker out there. What you got? Nothing, huh? Yeah. So the dishwasher, dishwasher. and the stove. Was the dishwasher running? It was already done. Oh, good. Yeah. I forgot to even think about that. So, it's that one. All right, so we're good, huh? Look. We're not going to kill ourselves? We know what one's right. <laughs> let's go. All right. So let's go ahead and get this guy wired up. So we got all of our outlets in here looking nice. It's time now to put the top back on. It's probably going to be a little bit heavier than it was before, but we've got Seth down here to help us out. And uh, let's go set it up there. Ready? Ready. We'll just flip it over and then it goes on there just like that. We've got the marks drawn where it goes. Give it a try. <laughs> hey, Jules, can you come like put your boots here so we can push up against? Right here? Yeah. <laughs> it's stuck down there. <laughs> so we, did we glue it to the ground? I hope not. No. <laughs> it's, heavy and, it's heavy and super flat. Who's going to get it first? <laughs> it's a race. It's going to get there in. Oh! I got it first. Seth got it. <laughs> Uh-oh, Marty. In the camera, it looks great. Beautiful. Now we finally get to go through and see exactly how we built this thing. So let's take a, uh, a kind of a, a view along this side here. Right, we've got just some trim. This is one by four trim here, pine. We've got our outlets in there and then metal roofing for the sides. We come around this way. You can see we've got another outlet, the same here. Come around this way. Same thing going on over here. This right here is a birch countertop that we got from Home Depot. We joined two of them together to make it extra wide like this. And that's probably why we had that issue with it sagging in the middle because it's wider than standard. But come on down here. You see we've got it mounted to a piece of angle aluminum there. And it's on actually a very heavy duty drawer slide. You can get those drawer slides on Amazon. You just got to look for the size that you need. And um, you want the heavy duty ones. They can hold like 250 pounds each as it slides in and out, no problem. On this side, you notice it's mounted all the way down the whole length of the countertop. We weren't able to do that on the other side because of the way that the overlap is. So if you notice here, there's no, there's not really a big overlap on this side. So the slide is on the inside. Go ahead and slide it open. So here is the slide for the inside one but it does not go all the way down. It looks like it goes all the way down right now, but see here, it doesn't go all the way down. 
there's actually a wheel down there. And so the wheel supports that far corner so that the countertop can slide and it rolls on top of that wheel and keeps that side supported. So we've got this door here that we built for it. Hinges right there. We've got a clasp right in here that hooks to hold it. And then right here is the latch that holds it. And then it won't slide on you on accident. Like when this is unlatched and you lean on it, it'll just slide. So let's go down. We'll look at the, uh, the bunker area. We just call it the bunker area. It's kind of more of a root cellar. But uh, we built the stairs to go on down here. We've got a light down here. Oh, man, I forgot to show you. Because we had it open part way. Look at this. This right here is the door. It's like the trap door. And so if somebody were to see it, it kind of looks like it's just storage space under here. Because it's a little bit hard to see that that's actually a trap door. But it is a trap door. And it connects right here with this magnet. And then it stays up there real good. All right, now we can cruise down in here. Notice this is just standard two by four construction, 7 16 OSB sheathing, and then it is mounted right to the floor right here. We've got our floor joists. These are the stairs that we built coming down into the root cellar or super secret bunker. We've got double floor joists here, double floor joists here, coming down here. Double floor joist there as well, so that the opening is all framed in nice and strong. And so now we're down in the root cellar or the super secret bunker where we actually have access. This is an access door to the outside. And so one of the things that we like about this is that if there were a situation where we needed to secretly flee the house, we could, we could come down here. You can shut this door from the inside slide this closed and nobody would know that you're down here except for all of you that are watching right now so we could be down here then and go out this door right here underneath the deck that's going to be there and escape out of the house and so we have some of our food storage down here as soon as we get the greenhouse built and the garden going well then this will serve more as a root cellar than just an emergency food storage place and so that is our super secret bunker. I realize that you might still have some questions about how to actually build an access like this in an island. Well, we have the video right up here where we went through and built this from scratch. You can watch that video right up there and it should probably answer all of your questions. Otherwise, you can leave them down in the comments below. We hope you guys have a really great day. Keep smiling.